differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Smirgliata. And this is the moment U.S. fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, to back your corners. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. You ready? Scheduled for five rounds if need be. Well, this heavyweight title has changed hands quite a bit as we get round one underway of this championship fight, but not since this man has held it down. Tonight, looking to defend his title yet again. And don't blink, ladies and gentlemen, most of his defenses. Oh! This could be it! offense from the bottom. He is getting off some huge punches here. He got tagged there. Making all these shots count. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Passes guard into side control. Working from the mounted crucifix. And he's going to try to take the back. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Blades going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight ending intentions. And he gets reversed. And now into full guard. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. In half guard, back to full mount again. He's got excellent pressure from the top. He hip escapes from the full mount. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. He's got it again. He's got him flattened out. Excellent movement here on the ground. Mount again. Lands a punch there, Joe. Look at this. He's out of it. He's back to full mount again. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. That is some nasty looking swelling on that left eye. Tries to move from half guard into side control, but cannot make it. 
Now he's moved back into full guard. Nice combination of strikes from the full guard. Trying to take the back here. Got his back again. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning right. here on the ground. Right. Round two straight ahead. Great finish, great finish. Come on, hey. You feeling all right? Good. Listen, we almost finished him at the end of that round. Now this is it. This is it. When the bell rings. Here's a big punch that results in a knockdown. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one. Brittany Palmer doing fine work as usual. Okay, ready? Uh, two. You ready? Second round here. This is going to become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent going to be able to oh. This could be it right here. Oh. Back to the feet. Nice knee there. Double underhooks in the clinch. One underhook here. That goes in and secures the takedown. Full guard here. Looking for the choke, looking for the choke. movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. A little bit uneventful. Full guard. Oh, he's got the neck here, Joe. This could be tight. He's in full guard here, looking for the guillotine choke. What he needs to do is, he needs to wrap his arm around the back of his opponent's head. Slide his forearm underneath the chin. Then he needs to clasp his and absolutely incredible. He got choked, didn't tap in time, and went out. Yeah, and that's about as good as it gets with that choke. And if you're not willing to tap out as he was not, then you're going to go to sleep. And that's exactly what happened. A beautiful setup and even better technique to get the finish to put him out cold. Let's see it one more time. Got the arm in deep under the neck, locked in tight, and it's over before they even get a chance to tap. And one more time, nice. All right, the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. For the winner, by submission, and still.